looking to the future helps me drive to what's going on now. Cause some days where you feel like, man, am I really gonna get through it? It's starting to get tough. But you gotta remember the reason why you're doing it. Those thoughts and those dreams and the imaginations that I see that we could possibly have in the future makes me go harder on those days where I feel like, man, I just, I feel like I can't make it. I feel like that comes with controlling the things you can't control. So focus on the tasks at hand and each day, day by day, and that's being the best football player I can be. I feel like that's gonna set me up for a better future. Starting Little League, my dad would write down all the notes, everything that we could have done better or what he felt like should be fixed. So going into college, he was in there to write down a critique. So from now on, that I would do it myself. And now today, I still get that same notepad and at the end of the season, write down everything that I could have done better or could fix and, you know, for a better outcome for the game. I'm pretty tough on myself, you know, but I feel like I shouldn't let no one, you know, set a standard that's higher than mine. Even my coach felt like I was a little hard on myself, but after looking at all the film, play by play, and taking all those notes on my pad, you know, that's the main reason why I gave myself the D minus at the end of the year. I go to my first year thinking, I gotta get my own, I gotta think about myself, worry about myself, and it, it was the total opposite. So, you know, Richard Sherman taking me under his wing my first year and teaching me everything I, I could know. Then second year, he's leaving and I gotta be the one that filled that void. I felt like I was trying to follow his footsteps and do everything the way he did it instead of doing it Shaquille Griffin way. It, it wasn't thinking for the team. And that mindset changed where, okay, now I gotta start to evolve a little bit more. And then my third year, now I have to be more of a leader. My first couple of years is more about Okay, how many picks can I get? It's all about stats and accolades. And um, I feel like I should, you know, veer my focus more on what can I do for this team. Football was supposed to be a backup plan. So football is our plan B. Plan A was, you know, go to school, go to college, you know, graduate. But uh, my dad, the way he, uh, you know, preached it to us was, if you don't, you know, make it in football, it's fine. That wasn't your first plan anyways. If you do, just an add on, it's a blessing. So, you know, I made sure I did, did everything I could to put my best foot forward, you know, and to have the best opportunity to, you know, make it to the NFL and, and that happened. <laughs> 13 years old, we ran on this AAU track team with this coach. And I remember I threw an idea out. It was like, maybe we should start our own track team. Next thing you know, we got St. Pete Nitro. Me and my brother was the, the founders of the team. We started off with 13 kids. Now we got over 150. It was definitely a blessing and we're trying to continue to you know, keep that going and growing. This is like my home now, you know, I see Seattle as my home, so, you know, I would want to have a camp here, but I also want to have a camp back in Florida. What motivates me to continue to and strive and be my best is the ones that look up to me. I feel like if I give up, I'm giving up on that kid who feel like one day he want to try to imitate everything that me and my brother may be doing. Like we're actual role models and I think that's what pushing me the most to get up in the morning is like, these kids are our future. The dreams continue to change because we actually have our ultimate goal, which is to go back in our city and um, start our own headquarters where it's our own you know, training facility, but it does more than just train people, you know. Those dreams are so hard to, to try to come by, but you know, when you have your brother who's been through so much or accomplished so much, that's the person I continue to lean on when it comes to achieving something that's greater than you know me and football. And like I said before, football was plan B. This wasn't even the first plan. You know, NFL is just the beginning, but you know, after NFL is when we really got to put our dreams into effect. You know, you got one goal down, you know, you got so many more to accomplish. And the ultimate goal is to be able to, you know, change lives around the world.